The notion of isomorphism of post sets tells us when we can regard two partially ordered sets as being essentially the same. So given two post sets, P and Q, um, I'll use the same notation to uh, describe the partial order on these two different sets, uh, but you should understand that these are actually different partial orders are said to be isomorphic if there exists a bijection phi from p to q, a one-to-one -one onto function that uh, preserves the partial order which means that x is less than or equal to y in p, this is a partial order in p, if and only if phi x is less than or equal to phi y in q for all x, y in p. So it transports, phi transports the partial order from p to the partial order onto q. Let's look at a simple example of this. Um, just look at the partially ordered set n. So this is a chain of length n and uh, this is isomorphic to the interval um, a a plus n minus i. This is another chain of length n. And what is the isomorphism? Phi takes k to a plus k minus, not n minus i, n minus 1 a plus k minus 1 for k equal to 1 to n. You can easily check that this is true. In fact, any two chains of the same finite cardinality are isomorphic. Um, here's a question for you. I said finite cardinality. Why did I say that? Here's a question for you. Uh, are Z and N isomorphic? What about N and P? Are they isomorphic? So think about that. And uh, now let's look at uh, finite partially ordered sets. So for example, we could ask, what are really the finite partial ordered sets uh, with uh, one point? Well, if there's one point, then the only possible relation is that, that there's a one point uh, x and that's less than or equal to itself. So that's partially ordered set with one point. That's the Hasse diagram. It has one node and no relations because there are no covers. Uh, remember for x to cover y, we need x is not equal to y. So these are, this is the Hasse diagram of a post set with one element. What about post sets with two elements? Well, there's the chain uh, where you have two elements and uh, x and y, x is greater than or equal to y. So you have this uh, one edge in the Hasse diagram. And then there's the one where x and y are not really comparable. This is this one's called the anti chain. Uh, so, post sets of order one these are the post sets of size two. Up to isomorphism, there are two post sets of size two. You could Think of these points as, you know, different things. Sometimes you could think of it as 1, 2, you could think of 2, 3, and so on. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You get isomorphic posets. So the Hasse diagram of a finite poset captures the poset up to isomorphism. Uh, what about size 3? Well, size 3, it turns out that there are quite a few more. There are actually five partially ordered sets. So there's always the chain on the one extreme. And then there's the anti-chain where you have three points and the relation is empty, uh, nothing, nobody is greater than or equal to anybody. So this is the anti-chain. 
of size 3. This is the chain of size 3. And then there are other partial orders. So I'll draw their Hasse diagrams. So you have three elements, um, x, y, and z, say, then x is greater than or equal to z, and y is greater than or equal to z. Then there's its, uh, you can take any Hasse diagram and turn it upside down. It remains a Hasse diagram. And then there is this one. So there's one, two, three, four, five partially ordered sets of size three up to isomorphism. It turns out that there are 16 partially ordered sets of size 4. Can you draw all their Hasse diagrams? 